Welcome along guys to a wet Lumi's motor calf. <laughs> it's been raining, of course the forecast got it wrong and we've had rain, but there's a reason to go out and risk the, risk the rain today. I'm meeting up with uh, Grizz from Six Gear Motorcycles, he's got his S1000 down, I've come out on the Super Duke, we're going to have a bit of a bike swap, it's been a few years since I've ridden an S1000, I've ridden the 2018, uh, 2015 version, Grizz has got the original 2010, so I'm quite keen to have a go on it, but we're going to start off on each other's bikes, and then swap back in a little bit, bring it on. I've been meaning to meet up with Grizz from Six Gear Motorcycles all oh, year. We keep saying we're going to do something. Oh yeah. He's based down in uh, Cheddar, where they make the cheese. <laughs> By Cheddar Gorge. That's where he's quite close to that. He's got a YouTube channel, so have a look at his channel. But uh, I've been meaning to meet up for a while because he's quite interested in getting himself a Super Duke, maybe going naked, joining the naked crew, and who can blame him? Who can blame the man? They're bloody brilliant! Grizz is not sure on wheelies, <laughs> he doesn't like wheelies, so I, he's going to enjoy this. I'll switch all the electronics back on, so it lets you wheelie a little bit with the electronics on, it keeps things semi semi-sensible. This is lovely but I'm, I'm, I'm getting a bit annoyed by the little niggles with this. You know when you have a bike and it's, it's fine, you know, the honeymoon period, the, the, the marriage starts, you love it, but then after a year or so, little things start to annoy you. <laughs> Especially after trying other bikes, it, it highlights that even more. Their clouds don't look particularly good straight on, do they? Oh, weather. But yeah, little things start to irritate you a bit, and I'm finding it a bit with this. Even though I've got the Oberon slave cylinder, I'm finding the clutch is a bit spongy when you're changing up through the gears. And as the bike gets hot, it gets worse, and it's annoying. Also, the handling, these are quite lively compared to the Super Duke 2. And in the liveliness of it, and the, and the constant on and off the throttle sort of seems to upset the suspension a little bit and it's getting on my nerves a little bit. So I've actually been looking at the, the Super Duke 2, maybe doing an upgrade to the Super Duke 2, but I'm just, you know, I think I'm just getting bored more than anything else. There's it's, it's nothing wrong with this. <laughs> I just look at the Super Duke 2 now and think, oh yeah, that looks nice actually. And I've even been looking at Tuonos. After that Tuono swap, I've been looking at the damn Tuonos again, thinking, oh yes, Tuono. Oh. How many V-twins you ridden before? You've had, you had to pan a go, didn't you? Well, oh, I might even give you the, the V-twin spill then. So that's on now, that's everything. That's traction control, wheelie control, all that shit on. I do quite like the blue screen. If you'd, if you'd said you'd had a blue screen, I'd be like, oh dear, that's a bit 90s. But actually, it goes with it, doesn't it? It goes with the colour scheme. I, I actually do quite like that. <laughs> But I have a man of the 80s though, so <laughs> perhaps that's why. Oh, by the way, the mirrors, garbage. <laughs> They're rubbish, you have to twiddle them. They move up and down a bit like that, but that one's better than that. They're only really any good for seeing if your camera's recording. <laughs> They're not very good at all. And when you start it up, it will say not legal and all that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it will. Just go back on the back button to clear like the, the, the that area because it's, it's got the dongle in which turns off the. Oh, because it's got no ABS on the rear. Right. Oh, and also the front brakes aren't that good. Um, the front brakes aren't very good. <laughs> no, they're rubbish. I, I, I think they need rebleeding. So when I start it, it's going to tell me I'm doing something illegal and the brakes don't work. Uh, yeah, basically. <laughs> The, your rear brakes your man on one of these because right. it's like a big supermoto, so the rear brakes are lovely. Have, have, back it in, mate, that's it. And also, <laughs> you'll notice the foot pegs are quite far back, so when you get on, you'll probably knock it into first thinking that's the foot pegs. So just bear in mind that they're, they're quite set back. 
<laughs> Let's do it. Let's. Do you, you need your gloves. Oh yeah, I think I should know. First of all, don't put my gloves on. <laughs> um, basically, start it up and go. It's brilliant. That's the sort I like. <laughs> you scratch down behind that, and it's like you're on acid or something. Yeah, it's all gone blue. Even though it's a cloudy day, you go behind there and it's beautiful sunshine. Let's do it, mate. Let's do it. Oh, yes. And we are off. Compared to the GSXR, my hands are closer to my knees. I think you're a little bit more crouched on it, perhaps. It's comfortable, though. I mean, it does mean you're not leaning forward quite so much. Oh, a nice bit of crackle. Oh, I should have put my external recorder on. I'm going to have to stop and do that. Hang on a sec, I've got an external recorder. Could you just have a, give me a reach around into the bottom of there? Keep the wheelies down, yeah? I don't want, too, don't want to see too many wheelies. Keep under control. <laughs> S1000 double R. Yeah, sports bikes do have a very different feel to the naked. A lot more solid on the front end. So this is a 2010, I think it's the Motorsport Edition they called it, it's the original. It's the original double R. This is the one that started the whole electronic sports bike revolution, basically. Oh, he, he wants some, he wants some. Come on, mate, it's a push bike, not a double decker bus. Quick shift is very good. I don't know if it's standard on this or whether it's aftermarket. Hello, mate, coming out. Blipper, of course. I guess you could do an aftermarket blipper on this. It must be right by wire the throttle. So you could probably get an aftermarket company to blipper it up. Brakes are excellent, really, really good. Suspension seems really nice as well. A little bit bouncier maybe than the uh, GSXR, but I've got you know that that shower suspension on the GSXR, the double R is just lovely. And this is obviously eight years old now and probably never been uh, never been refreshed. Did you the little small one? <laughs> Give it a good handful. If it had a blipper, it would pop a crackle. Yeah, it's fast. Not quite as fast as the GSXR. So the GSXR's got a little bit more at the top, but this is more than you would ever need. Oh, bloody lovely! Changes direction, nice. It feels like it feels light. It feels like a light bike. I mean, this is the one which started the whole revolution, though, wasn't it? The, ru the rumor is BMW bought a GSXR thousand stripped it down, rebuilt it <laughs> as the S1000 double R, obviously made improvements along the way, which is why this thing does feel very much like a GSX-R. It really, it's really got that feel to it. And why not? I mean, that's the way to go about it, isn't it? You take the leading sports bike at the time, re-engineer it, slightly improve it, and you've got a winner. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Got a good bit of power. 
power comes in about 8,000. It's quite, it's, it's, it's a little bit flat below 8, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I wonder if it's got the standard gearing on this. Yeah, 8 is where it starts to, starts to sing. Yeah, the front is quite... It does dip quite a bit, the front end. On the brakes. Could be a little bit soft for me. The spring weights, maybe. The wet is a bit wet. Those brakes are very sharp. To the new GSXR, the suspension isn't quite as good because, of course, that's got the show a big piston suspension, which is excellent. It really is Olin standard, really. Um, torque, it's a bit down on torque because that's got the VVT, and it's a bit down on top end power as well. But this is still absolutely fine. Position wise, this is perhaps a little bit more tucked. The seat is definitely more comfortable. But this is not that far off. A brand new bike. Ah, it's just too wet. Such a shame. Such a shame. It's absolutely soaking down here. Shit, mate, innit? Should we go back to that pub? Yeah, yeah. And have a soft one. <laughs> or, or, or drinky poos. Don't worry, it's only a shandy. A weak one at that. So we stopped off for uh, refreshments. Just hoping the weather's going to clear, but... Uh, uh, it's just, I think it's it for the day, really, don't you? So annoying. You plan these things. And the weather lets you down. I wonder if they do a carvery. <laughs> <laughs>